So guys, today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, we've been doing a lot of wrenching, putting new parts, doing engine upgrades on the Rogue Glide Special. Um, but today, uh, for reasons I'll get into a little bit later in the video, we're not going to be doing that. I do have some more things planned. Uh, but guys, my name is Rick and this is the HD Vibe Channel. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about this riding flannel shirt, protective flannel shirt that I actually won in a Holy Shift giveaway recently and I've had the opportunity to use this jacket for about three weeks now so I want to tell you a little bit about the jacket and my experiences and we'll get into all that right after this. Well that's right guys you heard it um, the Rogue Light Special is in the shop it's got a brake issue we may talk about that in a future video but this gives me an opportunity today to talk to you about this item that I won in a Holy Shift giveaway. Um, if you're subscribed to my channel, you're probably subscribed to his YouTube channel, but um, he has been working with Beyond Riders um, over the last couple of months, and he did a giveaway, and I got lucky, and I won this uh, protective flannel riding shirt jacket, um, if you will. And so I'm going to tell you a little bit about some of the features from the outside of this jacket, some of the protective qualities it has. Also, when we get to the end, I'll have a link down in the description so you two can go directly to the Beyond Riders website. Um, and also, I'll have a special discount code that you can only get here on the HD Vibe channel. And again, that link will be an affiliate link, so I do get a slight little commission um, to help support the channel. So, let's get into talking about this jacket. So this is a, a flannel type uh, shirt jacket. Um, this is 100% cotton on the outside but don't let that fool you. There's protective stuff on the inside. So from the outside, it has some features. It has snap uh, cuffs here, so you can get this tight around your wrist. It has zippers here um, at the cuff, so you can loosen that up, get your gloves in there, tighten it down. It has these two snap pockets up here in the front, um, so you can put some small items in there. Um, and then the, the most important thing is, and again, these guys try to think of everything for us riders and protective gear that still looks good, um, is these gussets here in the, in the shoulder area so that you can stretch and not have to feel that tightness across your shoulders as you're reaching for the handlebars and the hand grips on the bike. So they've tried to think of everything. So the other item that it has is this jacket also has vent, a venting system here under the arm. So that works off a zipper. Uh, on both sides so you have those vents under the arms so that you can uh, really use this thing and I have as well used it anywhere from 40 degree weather all the way up to like 75 degree weather that it was today just open those vents um, also up here in the front it has zipper and it has a snap closure so you have both um, it's a YKK zipper um, in all the areas where there's zippers same type of zippers but if it's hot, you don't zip it up, you snap it. If it's a little bit cooler, zip it up and snap it. And it keeps some of that wind off of you, um, keeping you comfortable while you're going down the road. So on the inside, you can see it has this mesh uh, lining. Again, that's to help your body breathe and move air through there so that you don't get overheated. Um, it does have this hang tag here. So if you take the jacket off and you wanna hang it on your, your levers here, um, you can easily hang it on there. So the other cool thing is it has these straps here that you can actually put around your belt loops um, or your belt so that the back of the jacket doesn't fly up. Sometimes it happens. It also has some water resistant uh, pockets inside here. A couple, there's one here and there's one on the other side. And then the other cool thing, it actually has a microfiber built in so that you can clean your glasses or your sunglasses off um, when you're going down the road. So a nice little feature. They've, they've tried to really think of everything when they built this, keeping us riders in mind. Um, and then from a protective standpoint, um, it has this Kevlar built in. And again, I'm not gonna quote the exact Kevlar material that's in here. Um, if you wanna find out exactly, go down to their website because I'll probably mess it up and I don't wanna mess it up. I want you guys to have all of the information. So hit that link that I'll have down in the description. So it has that built in. That's kind of this yellow that's behind this mesh. But then it goes beyond that. You can actually put armor in here. So you'll see this Beyond Riders here. This is actually a Velcro um, opening here. You can put back armor in. 
Um, it has pockets up here in the shoulders as well as pockets in the elbows for armor. So this does not come with armor. Um, you can order it separately and in the giveaway I actually got level one armor uh, which is for the shoulder and the elbows. Um, I have not put that in yet but um, you know really nice product. That, that armor and the jacket actually comes with a little pouch, a nylon pouch that if you want to leave the armor in there put it in your saddlebags and if you want to switch it in and out you got a storage area to keep it safe. Um, the other thing about this in terms of sizing, so they do have a little um, sizing area. You click on a link and it'll walk you through a number of questions um, so that you can pick and get the exact size that work, will work well for you. And it actually will remember the next time you come back to the website what size you selected. So in my case, um, I actually went through that process. I also reached out to the company, the guys at Beyond Riders, kind of told them my body type and they said well you know what you're gonna be between a medium and a large depends on how you want to wear it if you want to wear a heavy uh, hoodie or something underneath it you might want to go with the large if not you're gonna just stick with the medium so in my case I stuck with a medium that's what the sizing um, link told me I would wear as a medium I get this I tried it on it fits perfect I still have enough room if I want to put a little thicker shirt on um, with a shirt like this or a t-shirt it's perfect um, so that worked out well in terms of sizing. And I will say they're not slim fit. Um, they're probably regular cut. Um, so that just gives you some indication. Again, uh, from a sizing perspective, I'm about 5'10". Um, I weigh about 170, 175. My waist is about a 33 or so. And like I said, the medium works well. Plenty of length in the arms. I do have a little bit shorter arms. So I'm not a real tall guy, but um, the sizing um, on their website worked out great. They shipped it quick. I think I got it in like three or four days. Um, and I believe it came, it comes from California. I'm in St. Louis, Missouri. So the other thing that I like about this too is that it really can go from, you know, I've worn this in 40 degrees and I've worn this in 75. So obviously when it's a little cooler, I had a little thicker shirt on. I had everything zipped up, closed up so that I didn't get any of that air. It also snaps up tight um, around your neck so you don't get airflow through there. But like today, it was 75 or so degrees. I opened the vents, I didn't zip it, I just snapped it. Um, and that let a little more air flow through there. And I had this shirt on actually riding home from work and it worked out great. I felt comfortable and again, it was about 75 degrees. I wasn't sweating, I wasn't overheated and it worked out perfectly. So, you know, even though I got this uh, as part of the giveaway, uh, I am really impressed. These guys, if you haven't heard of Beyond Riders, again, go check out that link I'll have down below. These guys are coming out with more and more products. In addition to this flannel, obviously I went with black. They have all the different sort of plaids. You can check that on the website. They have a specific ultimate riding shirt. They have a riding hoodie. Um, they, they just came out with jeans. They have a mesh riding shirt for summertime, which I may go actually check that out because it gets pretty darn hot here in St. Louis and humid. Um, and I always like to be protected. Um, so again, their products sort of give you that form of looking good while you're out on the bike, not too bulky, but also gives you that protection, the function with that Kevlar, you can put the armor in there um, so that you can feel comfortable and look good when you're out on the bike. And if God forbid something would happen, um, this Kevlar and that armor will protect you from getting that road rash um, and those sort of things that are not so much fun. I haven't had to experience that yet, um, but I know others that have and it's not a lot of fun. So this will protect you when you're out on the road. Um, so guys, um, check it out. Um, let me know what you think. Shoot a comment down below if you, if you guys do decide to buy one. Um, let me know. Um, I'd be curious to see and also what are your thoughts on this? Um, I think it's a pretty cool jacket um, It gives you all of that protection plus it still looks good um, You can get the armor it comes with that storage pouch you can put in the bike carry it on the bike all the time so um, And again lots of different colors check out the website um, for that and all of the specifics around how this is uh, put together the materials that are used, the Kevlar that's used, the type of armor that you can order. Again, that is separate. And from a price point, um, right now I think this is $149. Um, if you use that link down below 
and use the code that I'll have down in the description as well. That will save you $10 off your order. And it doesn't have to be on this flannel. You could get the summer mesh. You could get the ultimate hoodie, the ultimate jacket, uh, the jeans, um, and still use that code as a viewer of the HC Vibe channel. Um, and guys, that, that's really it. A, a short video. Um, I was hoping to bring you some more content around the Road Glide Special, but unfortunately it's in the shop. As I said, some brake issues that we can't seem to get figured out. Um, so I actually had the master tech um, at Gateway Harley-Davidson. He's checking it out, and I'm hoping to hear uh, sometime soon this week as to what the situation is, and we'll have it back on the road again. So, guys, if you like this uh, video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, share this with your friends. Anybody who might be interested in getting some of this protective gear from Beyond Riders, or at least go check it out. Um, at their website through the link I have down below. Um, I might appreciate that. Also, leave a comment down below. Like I said, if you buy some, you're interested, you have other gear, um, just interested to hear. What do you think about the features of this jacket? Um, leave those down in the comments. Um, and also, if you're new to the channel and this is the first time you've been here, um, I have over 150 videos out on tips, tricks, rides, reviews, installs on the Harley-Davidson Touring Motorcycles, as well as information about motorcycles and just the motorcycle community um, overall. Um, I'd ask that you please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. Um, and when you do subscribe, because I don't know who actually subscribes when you subscribe, I can see the numbers, but I don't know who it is. Um, leave a comment and just say, I subscribe, because I do want to reach out to you and thank you for supporting the channel. Um, and I look forward to your comments after you're a subscriber so that I know who you are. Um, and with that, guys, I want to leave you with this. Life is short. Get out and ride the bike. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye now.